just waiting for more, the presentations came to an end. So. <laughs> I wish we could actually ask uh, for another round of uh, um, uh, presentations from our leaders. We've come to that uh, a point where it's now your part to also give us what you came prepared with and at the same time what perhaps you've generated uh, while listening to the presentations here. But while you are preparing to, to ask the questions, may I take this opportunity to recognize um, in addition to the representatives from the leaders who have not been able to be with us, we have there at the end Mr. Labson Kamufisa, representing the, the Christian Democratic Party under President Pule. Just wave at the crowd. And I have here Mr. Vincent Chintu, uh, who is the Secretary General of Citizens First, representing President Kalaba who has an engagement on the Copper Belt. And I have here Mr. Robson, sorry, Mr. Kwangu Mukupa, representing President Savoy under the NDC, who has just been taken ill. And I wish to recognize the presence of uh, leaders from our other structures, uh, our chair for the youth here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I won't give him an opportunity to speak because then we will... Uh, you steal the show. <laughs> you know, uh, Gen Z. I have um, our two lovely ladies there. Uh, Nams Namakau and uh, Nachilima. And also our deputy um, uh, chairperson for the women's group, Madam, Adam, uh, Madam Adora Piri, who has traveled to be with us from, uh, from, from Kawe. And uh, on my left, in the event that one day I'm unable to play this role for some reason, you will now uh, see a familiar face in the name of uh, Madam Mumbipiri, Honorable Mumbipiri, who is not a stranger to you. Yes. Honorable Mumbipiri was a few weeks ago um, appointed by the COP as um, the Deputy Secretary General of UCA. And she's attending this occasion for the first time, and it is just uh, uh, correct that she probably says hello to you uh, so that you get to, to know her again in this uh, role. Yeah, Madam yeah, yeah, yeah. great to be here. <laughs> 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 I recognize the presence of the sixth president of the Republic of Zambia, yeah. Dr. Eddie Gachagualungu. Yeah. I recognize the presence of the chairman of UCA, mm. Honorable Sakwiba Sukota. Mm. I recognize the presence of our mother, Honorable Edith Nawakwi. Mm. For those who don't know, she was our first financial finance minister. Yeah. Allow me also to recognize the presence, the presidents who are here. Madam Chalakateka, yes. uh, Sean Tembo, and then uh, the Secretary Generals from Citizen First and the others. And allow me also to recognize the presence of my Secretary General, Honorable Laki Mulosa. My name is Amumbi Piri Banakulutaza. Please, SG, allow me, because I was listening to her attentively. Yes. What happened in Parliament, as she was saying, yesterday was supposed to be a solemn time. Mm. And if some of you, especially the media, if you remember very well, Honorable Mutotwe Kafuaya was chased out of Parliament mm. for dressing up Muchilundu. What happened yesterday? It's unprecedented. And I'm not claiming that Akainde Ichilema is my son. He said it himself. He's my blood son-in-law. He said it himself. It's unprecedented. The things we are seeing are happening for the first time where we saw members of parliament dress in, my, in the traditional dress for our cousins now, Western province, Siziba, dancing on the floor of the house. 
why were they not chased? Is it selective judgment of the speaker? Madam Speaker, Madam Nelly Muti, please answer to that. Because we saw you chasing Mutotwe Kafwaya, Pantua di Fuede Chilundu. Secondly, the president spoke about fair justice to the people of Zambia. As I stand here, I'm a woman who was a suspect in a murder case. I stayed in prison for 105 days, 6 hours in Mwongu prison until I went through the due process of the law. My son, why haven't you arrested the suspect in JJ's adapt adoption case? Are you sure that your mouth, what you say, matches with the brain? I remember me as your mother. Are you a lacuna yourself? And as President Nawapi said, the things we are seeing, they are not matching. How can you come from nowhere? You think you can just come to the people of Zambia and tell them what you think? Hmm. We are not your children like yeah. Chela Tukuta. No. Yeah. Whom you record, and I'm speaking as a former diplomat, you, called, you record Chela Tukuta from Brazil. What the diplomatic service requires is for somebody when you are recorded, like the way I was recorded, it's in the diplomatic book. You have to stay there for three months. What crime did Chela Tukuta commit for him to come within a week? Mm -hmm. We have seen on his Facebook page, he's always posting, why haven't you given him his gratuity? So you think you can go to parliament and tell us that, eh, maybe I'll be here for eight, nine years. You're joking. <laughs> and I'm talking to you as your mother. Whom you sent, your government sent the police to come and arrest me in the presence of your own children. One day, Mukakuma na kubwengwa. Mare damba. You are not, these are Zambians. There was Kaunda before. Kumulu, Lesa, Pashi, Kaunda. He was removed. Who are you? You think that glue you have put, and you are spoiling our children. As a president, you are talking. In a divapongo shivenu, but mwana ikata kumata. Is that normal? And next, you are going to address the nation on morals and principles when you you are breaking the same laws you have no etiquette to even address the people me as your mother i'm so ashamed but i'll be in the forefront to stop you to be in office for eight or nine years which you are dreaming about i thank you sir.